hello guys welcome back to the daddy cliff channel today let's look at an opportunity for you to do a master of science that is msc in holland i am going to talk about three scholarship opportunities in a university that is located in holland one will be for africans that is for those who are coming from the african continent and the other two will be for those who are coming from any other part of the world Without taking too much of your time, let's get into the details of this scholarship. But first, if you know you've not yet subscribed to the channel, why not begin by hitting that subscription button and also turn on notifications so that you will always be notified whenever there are new scholarship opportunities on the channel. And then secondly, if you are a returning subscriber, please make sure you like and share the video. The first scholarship is the Africa Scholarship Program. It is offered to talented and motivated students from Africa. The unique opportunity to do a master degree at University of Wenningen and to support in the building of capacity in Africa. The number of slots that are available for this scholarship has not yet been determined but know that the application deadline is on the 1st of February. Basically, the three scholarships have their deadlines on the 1st of February. The second thing is that know that you would begin your studies on the 1st of September, 2024. Now, let's look at the benefits of this scholarship. They would provide you with travel fare from your home country to the Netherlands and from the Netherlands and back to your home country once you're done with your studies. They would provide you with living allowance for the duration of the program, which will be 24 months, that is two years. Tuition fee coverage for the duration of your Master of Science degree program, that is 24 months. And then they would provide cost for visa and cost for health insurance, which means they would assist you with the fees that are associated with visa acquisition and health insurance while you are in the Netherlands. And here they say a budget for one seminar in Europe travel stay and registration fee which means if you decide to attend a seminar let's say in germany they'll pay your travel fare to germany for that seminar they'll pay your hotel stay and registration for the seminar that you will be attending what are the requirements you must be a citizen from an african country and then next thing is that make sure you apply to one of their master degree programs that they are offering at the University of Wenningen and Research. And then you must receive an unconditional letter of admission for one of the MSc program that you've applied for. And then the fourth condition, be an excellent student and be among the top five students having a first class degree for a Bachelor of Science degree. Those are the requirements for you to obtain the Africa scholarship program and then for the selection procedure we will look at them after looking at the other two because the selection procedures are the same almost the same now the second scholarship is the excellence program for msc non-european economic area students if you are not from any european country you are eligible to apply for this scholarship and they say it is initiated by the university to attract excellent students for a master's program who might have the potential to someday do a PhD either at the University of Wenningen or maybe in any other university around the world. Number of slots are still to be determined, but know that the application deadline same 1st of February 2024 and you will begin your program on the 1st of September 2024 also. What are the benefits? A tuition fee waiver for the duration of your program that will be 24 months, that is two years, and then they'll provide you with a budget for one seminar to travel to a European country. They'll pay for your travel costs, your stay in either a hotel and registration fee for the seminar. What are the eligibility requirements for you to apply for the excellence scholarship you must be coming from a non-european economic area country which means if you're coming from a country that is not in the eea any other country that is not in the eea you are eligible to apply and then you must have applied to one of their msc programs and then you must make sure you have received an unconditional admission letter for one of their msc program and then have a high GPA of 80% or above and must have obtained a first class honor BSc. Selection procedure also, we will look at them at the end because it is the same. 
Now the third one is the Anne Van Den Ban Fund. The Anne Van Den Ban Fund allows talented students from developing countries to study at the university. The scholarship is assigned in cooperation with the university. Know that they will work with the university to decide who gets a scholarship. Like I said, it is for international students from developing countries who have received an unconditional admission letter for one of their MSc program that will begin in September 2024. They will provide either a full or partial scholarship. Application deadline, same, 1st of February 2024. Who can apply for this scholarship? Scholarship is based entirely on invitation. You cannot just apply directly. After applying to obtain admission into one of their MSc programs, then you will be invited to apply to one of the scholarships. Know that when you are applying for the excellence scholarship or for this scholarship, you will need to only apply only after you must have received an email inviting you to apply. There are other scholarship opportunities down here that you might want to read on yourself. And know the details now let's look at how you can go about applying for a master's program you must submit an application request in the study link and then secondly upload your documents in the application portal or series so this is the application link you would have to create a username and the password and then make sure you are applying as an international student so you can go ahead and create a username and a password here but if you already have a username and password all you need to do is log in with those details on this website that is where you would have to upload all the necessary documents we will look at the necessary document for application admission requirement it is important to know that you will provide one of the english language required proficiencies for application so if we click here it will take us to the english language requirement unfortunately they would require you to provide either IELTS, toffel cambridge one of this english language proficiency exemptions are for those who might have received a bachelor at one of the dutch universities here or maybe you come from one of the English speaking countries here so you should go ahead and read it is not possible to apply without an English proficiency test but it is always possible for you to email the university and ask if they can waive your English language requirement so go ahead and ask them to waive your English language requirement if they accept then you can apply online you still have a lot of time until the 1st of February you can do that by filling out the contact form study information and tell them that you will need a waiver an English waiver because you studied did your bachelor's of science in English maybe they might consider you without which you would have to provide one of the English language requirement it is important to know that one of the admission requirement is that for previous education a bachelor's degree or equivalent in a field of science is relevant to your selected program know that you must have done a BSc for you to apply to do an MSc and then you would have to provide sufficient academic performance throughout your bachelor's degree as shown by average on weighted marks that meet the required minimum as determined in the international credential evaluation guide so like they said you must be among the top five if you are applying for the africa scholarship program if you are applying for the excellence scholarship or for the van scholarship know that there are other conditions that you must maintain like being among the top 20 for the excellence and the unvan fund scholarship and then previous knowledge and skill you would have to provide them with individual master's program may add specific requirement in addition to general requirement please click the admission and application details so if you click there you would have some more details every program will have their specific requirement so you must make sure you go to the list of master's programs that we have here these are the list of master's program you can for example open animal science and then look at the different conditions for admission there is a contact information here you can actually contact these people and talk to them especially when it comes to english language requirement so if you want to know the specific admission requirements for animal science it says admission and application you can click here for requirement and application procedure so if you click here it will take you to this page where you can see required knowledge and skills you can read them 
compensation and knowledge gaps read them additional context for admission so it is important that you go to the different degree programs that are available and look at the conditions for admission for those applying from africa the advantages are many the scholarship benefits are really good take the opportunity and apply make sure you go through the application steps know that you're applying by the first of february to one of the program and then they have the selection steps like we said it is only by invitation in march 2024 all students have been unconditionally admitted to an msa program at will be assessed with regards to the africa scholarship program a selected group of candidates will be invited by email on march 21st 2024 to participate in the asp selection procedure only candidates who are invited to take part in the selection will receive an email so if you don't receive an email know that you have not succeeded in your application you will have an online interview the third step is the result of the selection so on may 13 2024 result of selection process will be communicated to all candidates who are invited so here are the possible results if it's positive you will receive the scholarship if it's positive but the candidates will be placed on waiting list negative means you have not succeeded and will not be granted scholarship and then for the excellence scholarship the procedure is the same step one is by february you make sure you've applied to one of the master's program master of science programs second invitation you will be invited to apply online only invited students can apply after they've received unconditional admission three results it's the same these are the possible results positive means you've been granted positive but means you are on a waiting list negative means you have not received the excellence program scholarship so guys that's the end of the scholarship information like i always say getting a scholarship it's not an easy process because it requires your time money and most especially work if you are ready to put in the work you would get the scholarship to study in any part of the world you have to take your time in writing your essay you must be able to convince the people that you really deserve the scholarship do not rush when applying for any scholarship when you rush your scholarship application will be a mess take your time take the opportunity go through my channel there are many scholarship opportunities and more will always come which is why you need to make sure you subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell so that you will always be notified whenever there are scholarship opportunities like this one that being said i'll end the video here and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye